I don't care anything about possessing the final product. I want to create it. So I looked for a way to create tubing out of a composite material for weight and heat uh, issues associated with steel and aluminum. Couldn't find one, so I created my own. What I came up with was uh, this stuff right here. Um, this is the same stuff that they would use if you broke your arm uh, to make a cast with. That's what this is made out of. So let me show you how we do this. All right, so really quick, I've got two ways that I like to do this, or two techniques that I've developed. Um, basically what this stuff is, is a roll of fiberglass that's activated by water. So you bust open this package, you dip it in water, that kind of activates it, and then you have time to wrap it around whatever you want to create uh, before it hardens up. So like I said, two ways to do this. You can just take some induction tubing that you've created out of steel. Uh, this one I've just simply kind of tacked together. Uh, I wrapped it with the casting tape, and then what I did was I took and split, split it down one of the sides. You can kind of see where I went down and split that. Uh, once I split it, I was able to peel it apart and then you go back and you can actually glue it back together. And this just gives you a base to work from. You can either wrap it with some more casting tape or you, then you can reinforce it with carbon fiber or whatever, you, whatever you'd like to use. The other technique that I developed was uh, basically the same thing. You create your induction tubing out of steel and then you split it into four pieces. And this works as long as it's not too complex. Um, put some ends in some uh, plugs in each end to kind of keep the form. You wrap this, you pull the plugs out, and once you pull the plugs out, you can actually take each piece of steel out separately. And you're left with one solid piece of uh, fiberglass tubing that has no seams in it. Um, at that point, you can reinforce it with carbon fiber or whatnot. Um, this one's easy. You can see I wrapped it, then I split it. I'm actually gonna do this one right here for you guys and show you how this one works. All right, fellas, check this out. Uh, casting tape. This stuff's actually pretty expensive, um, but I'm gonna I'm tell you how to get it pretty cheap. Uh, cheap enough where you can experiment with this and not be too upset if it doesn't work out for you. Real easy. You split these packs. Pull this stuff out and it's kind of gooey and stiff. They, they come in a bunch of different colors. This is actually uh, blue. I've seen them pink, red. I've seen them in all kinds of different colors. Um, you just stick it in there. I kind of like to squeeze it and get it, get the water um, real good inside there because that's, that's what activates that uh, fiberglass for you. To get it good and wet. Just take it out. Let's find the end of it. Just start wrapping it. This stuff also comes in wider pieces. Uh, this is a two inch wide strip here. It also comes in like a four uh, I, th I think they come in three. It doesn't really matter. I, I actually just bought these. I found them pretty cheap. Um, so I bought the two inch strips just to kind of show you how, how this works out. Doesn't have to be super thick. You basically, at this point, you just want it thick enough to have a good base to work from. Because um, you're going to end up splitting it or, or pulling it off the mold anyway. You can always reinforce it as much as you want later on.
All right, there you go. So we're gonna give that about 10 minutes. It doesn't take long at all. About 10 minutes, it'll it'll start to harden up real good and um, I'll show you how we break this thing apart. All right, it's been about 10 minutes. It's nice and hard. It's not tacky. Um, I've already took the screws out of this side. I'm uh, just gonna take the screws out of here. And this is basically just going to release this uh, plug that I've got in the end. All right, once all the screws are out, um, I've got these plugs where they can just pull out. And it's just a piece of plastic. I've got them numbered. Uh, that way I know which uh, piece of steel goes with which part of the plug, just so the holes line up. Um, and it also helps me kind of put it back together too pretty quick. All right, once the plugs are out, um, basically you can just kind of push this one piece at a time. You can just kind of push it off of the... See, once they break loose, you can just pull these pieces of steel out. And then what you're left with is a nice solid piece of very lightweight tubing, composite. I mean, it's, it's basically fiberglass tubing is what it is right now. Um, there are little pinholes all through this just because of the nature of the, of the casting material. Um, at this point, you can sand it and you, kinda, you can see that I've kind of sanded this one a little bit. So at this point you can sand it, it sands just like fiberglass. Um, and then you can either just fill it the way it is with traditional fiberglass resin to seal up the pinholes and, and you're ready to go. Put some couplings on each end and you've got some uh, tubing. Or you can reinforce this with uh, a sock type of carbon fiber weave. Um, which I'm going to actually show you how to do in another video. So. Uh, Stay tuned. All right, there you go. Easy way to make induction tubing. Uh, be sure you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss uh, future projects. Uh, I've got one coming up where we're going to reinforce this with carbon fiber.